so uh, this is going to be an update of uh, uh, when things go boom, I guess. Uh, the last video I made, my differential decided to say I'm out. Peace. Adios. Uh, well, after uh, about a week almost of the truck being in the shop, and uh, about a $4,500 repair bill, finally got the truck back. That being said, you know, had a little more done than just the, uh, just the differential. I had a radiator put in too. And uh, I believe the radiator was damaged from the first repair I had done to this truck, which is the engine mounts. So, when you buy a used truck, don't automatically assume you're going to get, I don't know, a couple months out of it before it breaks down. You might only get, uh, shit, I had um, about a month, maybe, two months I've had the truck, and it's already cost me between um, the engine mounts that I had done and um, differential and stuff. It's probably almost cost me about eight to nine thousand dollars in repairs. So have some money saved up, especially when you buy that older used truck. And I'll go out there with fifteen grand, pick up a fifteen thousand dollar truck. With uh, four hundred dollars to your name after that, not a very good idea. Setting yourself up for failure, then. Man. Uh, buy a new truck, though. Doing the same thing, just about. Unless you uh, can devote one hundred percent of your time to just driving. You know, some of these trucks now with the cost of them has gone up so much you're easily talking about twenty five to three thousand dollar a month payments so moral of the story is have money saved up after you buy that cheap truck technically after you buy any truck you always have the possibility of a couple tires blowing out uh, drive shaft dropping the drive shaft clutch deciding to go bad the list goes on and on and on how bad things can happen in trucking. Put you out of business real quick. Uh, if you buy uh, buy anything, I suggest having at least 10 grand sitting around after you buy it. And um, a credit card with a decent, decent uh, limit on it. So that's about all I'm going to talk about uh, repairs for right now. I don't want to dwell on it, but it's just the shit that can happen to you. I still have some money saved up. None of it was really devoted to the business. It's all, you know, family money. I still have a little bit left, and then my credit card, my Spark card, Capital One. So, as long as nothing major goes, like an engine, I shouldn't have to dip into my own personal savings. Uh, that too. Make sure you uh, you uh, separate your personals and your business. Uh, like they say, know when to fold them, know when to hold them. Uh, so that's uh, that's my quick little video on an update. Uh, let's see the total repairs. I put a used uh, used differential in it. 1700 bucks uh, the radiator I bought off eBay for 500 I went to the dealer or like local uh, parts store I've been looking at about $1,500 just for a radiator I was planning to put that in myself <laughs> but once the differential went I said they already have it might as well just let them do it so you think about it about five grand between the labor materials fluids um, differential uh, the, the radiator the labor for a radiator so just blew about five thousand dollars on that uh, snapped input shaft and differential so you know got any questions anything you want to throw by me just throw them in the comments uh, it's just a quick little update video I'll, uh, 
probably make a video about authorities, lease purchase, whatnot. Um, you know, I, yeah, just answer some questions that I've been getting. So uh, until next time, uh, <laughs> save some of that money, especially now. All right, see ya.